I want you to understand that we need what? Holy Spirit. Let me ask you. The Holy Spirit can't send you to propose again. Holy Spirit, to send you and say, go and propose that again, is the Holy Spirit. So it's easy to find out if is the Holy Spirit in you or satanic spirit. Holy Spirit can send you to go and gossip. To go and lie, Holy Spirit. Send you to lie. You know when you are empty, you always try to find what you will do. Holy Spirit will lead you to his presence. You know why many times we are doing things which are contrary to the word of God? We are lacking what? Holy Spirit. We are, I'm telling you, we are just lacking Holy Spirit. I, most of the time when I was with Mama, she would tell me, are you praying for this person who was wearing this? You should tell me that before. I, I didn't see that person. Because Holy Spirit can't make me to look at what you are wearing. I mean, when I, I come here, I even forget you are here. Sometimes I feel like I'm speaking alone. Because it's not me who's speaking, it's God speaking. Holy Spirit can make me to recognize you in the flesh. He will direct me in the spirit. Most of the time we are recognizing people by and their appearance. And that's how we judge, which the Bible says we must not judge. Holy Spirit will never make me to look at you what you are wearing. Ah. What you are wearing. Holy Spirit. That's why when now you are led by the Holy Spirit for you to marry. You won't even check if this person is having a car or a house. Uh, when you check if this person is working or not, if it's Holy Spirit, I found many young people when they want to marry. If someone says, I want to marry, he says, okay, I just want to go and pray about it. No, you are not going to pray about it. You are going to check if you have got a degree in your car. You are, you are not going to pray about it. Sometimes when you don't have information, you ask your friends. And because these friends jealousy you, they say this boy is not good. And you miss what God wanted to give you. And you miss what God wanted to give you. Truly, we need the Holy Spirit. So the moment when I found this, I was very challenged. How many of you need the Holy Spirit today? You need the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, He will never come to you unless you repent. After you are laid hands, is then He will come. Look at your life today. Let us all stand. Look at your life today. Are you ready to repent? If there's any wrong life you are living, forget whoever is there. And you want to repent, run forward to your salvation. Holy Spirit say, if you hear this voice, repent now. You have to do it. In your heart, confess before you pray with, confess. Holy Spirit loves you so much. Jesus loves you. God loves you. Pray with them. Let's all close our eyes and we lift up our hands. Let's say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we come before your holy throne. In humility and total submission. Father, we have heard your word. 
and realize our mistakes. Today we come to you to accept you in our lives as our Lord and our Savior. Lord, we believe in our heart that you are Lord and confess with our mouth that you rose from the dead. Today, Father, come into our hearts and fill us with your Holy Spirit. Make us your children in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for saving my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. God bless you. You can go back. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, clap hands for them. Yes. I want to tell you that uh, Jesus loves you, but the prayer of prayer is not over. Amen. You are still going to be challenged by the same challenge you were facing. Your, your salvation is start to be activated. When you overcome what brought you here. Look at you. Most of the time, people, when they come here, it, it, it's not over. If you are a Christian, what brought you here will never defeat you again. Your, your Christianity will be declared after you overcome this. I'm sure you are hearing me. What you, when you were standing here, you will say, from now, I'm agreed to be a Christian. So now, walking in fellowship with him. From now on, Satan will bring the same thing to you. What do you say about this? You say, hey, I have declared that I'm a Christian. But if you fail on this, you need to come back. <laughs> I grew up with my friend we you know when I was still a young he's also a pastor in one church in faith <laughs> church. so we used to read I'm sure by then I was 18 years I read the Bible I love to read we read those small Bibles if you remember the Bible the New Testament we always read the New Testament so that brother was a straight forward, become Christian. Paul. But one day I met him, I was already married with my wife. He, he, wife. So we were he, said, he said to me, You know, um, we, we discussed it, we we're talking about our salvation. So he said, In my church, I can baptize you 50 times. <laughs> I ask him, I love a lot that day. I say, what are you saying? I said, no, I was born in a church that you know. Where, where we, we baptize three times. You know? And sometimes you don't want, but here you are pushing the bag of water. <laughs> so now, 50 times. He said, 50. He said to me, uh, if you accept Jesus. And you go and sin. We bapt Let's say you accept Jesus, we baptize you. You, you go and sin. The baptism was birthing. You just, you just say, well, no. the moment you get it, you say, no, you remember the time you bathed. So we must baptize you again. Are you repenting? I said, how do you manage that? I mean, he says, I already have got many people have baptized ah, several no, times. I said, no. no. I said, it's not good for you. This baptism will lose value. Jesus, after baptism, what is we came upon you? I said, what, what about if you teach them? The word. They enter classes. 
until you realize this one now. And this one and that one. I say, I say, no, this thing you're baptizing. Tomorrow, I say, people are catching people by baptizing. Other people, when you say, are you a Christian? They say, no. Are you a Christian? No, I've been baptized in that church. Are you a Christian? No, I've been are you a cr- baptized. Some people, they value Kolovetra and you are, are Kolovetraing people. I say, if we carry on like this, if we follow the whole Kolovetra, what about those you will never find? Because there are some people who are sitting there, you never know they are sitting And they say, ah, now you are right there. Oh, that's why you are sitting there. And they say, ah, now you are right there. Because you know, you Christians, you must know, after you are coming here forward, you are coming here forward. The same challenge can come double. Challenge ye like we are having it. Well, after you have done like that, maybe you're a sister and the brother buys you groceries. Maybe he buys bread, if, if, you know, chicken, whatever. Now you'll bring even uh, beef now. And bring, I mean, the groceries will be double. And the moment you see grocery, you, you fail to say no. I remember the Bible said the grace teaches us to say what? No. You must find the grace from today to deny the life of sin. God bless you. God bless you. Uh.